Hey there. Oh, it is a long day. It has already been a long day. So, today I have decided that I am going to do a full face of my mini makeup products that I've been collecting for forever. I think I have been putting these in their little box as I've been getting them in for maybe a year now, maybe a couple months, even before I started this YouTube channel because I was just like, oh, I saw a video about it. It was Soap Does Nails. She did a video about it and I always really wanted to create my YouTube channel and I always really wanted to do that video. I thought it was a really cool idea. So <laughs> I, as I've been getting samples either from Birchbox or from uh, Sephora or Ulta purchases or just samples from catalogs or things like that, I've been putting them in this drawer in my bathroom and been stockpiling them. And today I have decided that I'm finally going to stop it and I'm going to put them on my face. Enough is enough. I'm looking in front of me and I finally have a full face. The only thing I do not have, unfortunately, is eyeshadow, so I will just have to do something different with that. But if you are interested in seeing my full face of mini slash sample products, then you are in the right place. Just keep on watching the video and be sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday and let's get on with the video guys. So I have two products here that are the samples to start off with and they are going to be just your basic skincare products and one is the Jura, not really sure how you say it, uh, Candle Nut Body Creme Smooth Moisturize Softened Skin and then the other one is the Arrow Under Eye Brightening Serum. They look like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply those to my skin. I have a little bit of moisturizer on, but my face has been super dry, so might as well add some more. Ooh, that smells really, really good. The normal moisturizer smells almost like a coconutty smell. Really buttery, super smoothing. Ignore how red my face gets, that's just my skin. <laughs> All right, oh, this is kind of tinting. What's the light medium, I guess? So this is the under eye brightening serum. It has a little bit of a tinted look to it. Doesn't feel too moisturizing almost feels more like a concealer than a serum. Now that I have both of those on my skin, I am going to go ahead and have four different primers that I have to try out. I'm going to decide which one of those. So first I have the IT Cosmetics Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. And then I have the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer. I have the Makeup On The Go Mattifying Primer. This has SPF of 50 and it's in the shade beige. I probably won't use this one because I don't really want anything with a tint to it. And then I have a sample of the Girl On Paris Essence. And I believe that this is their makeup base that has the flecks of gold in it. Oh yeah. Ooh, I want to try this one. I've never tried this one before. It looks like this. It has like the little flecks of gold in it. I want to say that I got this as a sample from Sephora with my purchase. I think it was like one of their little coupon code things that you have to put in. So I'm going to squirt a couple little drops of that on my finger. Doesn't really smell like anything and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my skin. Feels very moisturizing. Once again, ignore how red my face gets. Likes to be a tomato. It really made my face feel 
plump and hydrated very smooth so I'm hoping it'll help my foundation choice to go on a bit smoother which brings me to the foundation I have a couple of samples and first off I have the cover effects foundation the cover effects power play by the way um, but it's such a little sample like that would never fit all over my face I have the Bare Minerals Bare Pro sample. Ah, these are actually decent sizes that they give you. i would probably be Natural 11 from what I'm seeing. I have the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup Foundation. I don't think I would be any of these shades. They just look really cool toned. So I'm not gonna pick any of those. And then I have the toy, the toy, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and that also comes with a fair amount of shades as well. Just from that, I think I'm going to choose the Bare Minerals one because it comes with the most amount of product that I can use. Like I said, I'm going to do Natural 11 in the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. So let's get this on my face. Oh my God, it's very liquidy, like. If you're seeing it, it's running down my hand. It's very liquidy. I don't know if the normal one's like that or if this is just because it's the sample. So if you have any experience with the real product, just keep me posted. <laughs> It does feel almost like a BB cream, like very light and everything, but I will say it's not doing much to hide any imperfections. It's kind of makeup-y looking on my skin. So not the biggest fan of that. It's not horrible, but not the biggest fan. For concealer, I only have one option, only have one sample to choose from. So I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer, and it's this guy. I've actually always wanted to try this, so when I got this as a sample, I was very excited, and I am going to try it in the color of light. I think I'm gonna get some with my finger, put it where I need it. Okay, that kind of helped to blend my forehead some. Concealer seems to be better at hiding the texture than the foundation was. I have two liquid highlighters here. One is the Anastasia one. I don't remember what it is. I got it when I worked at Ulta. They kind of just gave me like a free sample of it. So I kind of have to look up, look it up and see what it is. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do this one anyway because I do have another one that I wanna put on top. So I think I am going to use the Nude Sticks Nudies Highlighter in Illuminati. So it's just this tiny little Nude Sticks and it rolls up and it's this little guy. And I'm gonna put it on my facey face to give some glow. Oops, my hair's stuck in it, my hair's stuck in it. And it is very pretty, like, you can see that, it's really pretty. I have one single powder to try. So it's the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I used to use this every single day when I was in high school. And I haven't used it since then, so I don't know if they reformulated it or anything. That was a little while ago. So we will see how this goes. Under my eyes. I still do have a kind of sheen on my cheeks, so that's nice. My under eyes look nice, so. Yeah. 
that's not too bad. Don't mind that. I have surprisingly three brow products. They're all different. So I have the Ico London Brow Liner in Medium Shape and Define. I have the Model Co More Brows in Medium Dark. And then I have the Full and Tame Nourishing Tinting Br Tinted Brow Gel. And what shade is this? Clear. Tinted brow gel. Clear. I don't... So, either way, I'm using these two. Get out of here, you clear thing. Even though your packaging is super cute. But, okay. Um, so, the Ico brow liner actually cracked me up when I got this because I have this in the eyeliner and it looks the same exact thing right down to the tip looks exactly like the eyeliner so i'm kind of scared to use this it's like a felt tip eyebrow pen so i'm scared we're gonna see how this goes uh ooh, it's very wet it's freaking me out a little bit Oh, that's nice. You can draw in tiny little hairs with it. I like that. Well, I mean, that was really easy. Let's do the other side. The left side's always worse. That was so nice. What in the heck? All right, A plus, A plus. Now this, I have tried before. It comes out really clumpy, so I'm very scared to try it again, but I'm going to try it from the back forwards this time and see how it goes. Not bad, not bad. It definitely has little fibers in it, so Gotta keep that in mind while using it. It's gonna stick little fibers to your eyebrows. Now I have two bronzers. I have the NARS Bronzing Powder. And I have the Bare Minerals in Warmth. I think that I'm going to use the NARS Bronzing Powder just because I always wanted to try this. I like that. That's really pretty. I'm like super fair, so that looks so that looks really nice on me. Cause I'm very fair. I didn't have any um eyeshadows so I'm just gonna take some of that up into my crease while I have it out just gonna be doing a quick and easy look today with my eyes because I didn't have any eyeshadow and then for blush I have two, woo, two blushes I have one from coastal Scents that is a blush and bronzer palette it looks like this to be honest that does not look like a bronzer to me that looks like a highlighter to me but whatever and then I have this NARS blush, which let's be honest, that's what I'm using. It's a mini NARS orgasm blush. So that is going on my face. Never used this before either. That's really nice. Very, very pretty. Not too much. Like it, like it. Okay. And then for my highlighter over top of my highlighter, I have a sample of the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. It is so cute. Look at that. And I have tried this before too. It's really pretty. Like just look at that highlighter. Really pretty. Especially on darker skin tones too because it has that golden undertone. That would be gorgeous. Then I'm gonna use this on my eyes as well. 
And then that is gonna be my easy eye look for today. And then I have a million and one mascaras. I have the Superhero It Cosmetic, the Clinique High Impact Mascara, the Tarte Lashes Lights Camera Action, the They're Real from Benefit, and I have a Laura Geller Lash Bosch, Lash Boss Major Length Volume and Curl Mascara. I've tried all of these except for the Laura Geller one, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, whoa! Okay, this is really cool. So, the one side of the wand has bristles that are really high and the other side is like really flat. Do you see that? Oh wow, it's very lengthening. Oh my goodness. I'm not really sure which way I'm supposed to be using this wand. Like, I'm really unsure. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be holding up though. How's it going? Good. You're all set. Take care. Thank you. I liked how it looked at first, but now it's just kind of falling down. I don't know. We'll see how it is at the end. We have a million lip products to try. We have a little sample of the tardiest lip paints. We have just a little tardiest lip paint. We have a Beauty by Pop Sugar sample. We have a Makeup Forever gloss sample, which we can just put on over top of whatever we choose. We have a Bare Mineral sample. We have a Mania Beauty Simplified sample. We have a Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss Sample, which I'll put there too, depending on which color we choose. And then we have a Mellow Matte lip, Liquid Lip Color. So let's see, which of these do I want to choose? Which color? These are all the colors that I have. I don't really feel like opening another one of the sample packages. So, Mellow Matte Liquid Lip Liquid. And this is in the shade Terran. This is much more brown than I thought. Maybe I'll put the Makeup Forever lip gloss over top just because it's a kind of peachy lip gloss. Why not? lighten it a little bit, added some gold flex in it. And then to set everything, I have a sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Let's get it out of here. This little guy. I use this normally sometimes, so I have used it before. Get the spritzer working. Okay guys, so that was my full face of mini sample size products. I hope you liked it and I hope you thought it was something a little bit different than what you usually see on YouTube. I found a lot of really cool products, some things that I've always really wanted to try out, whether they're just too expensive or I've forgotten to purchase them in the past. So it gave me the chance to try them out without having to buy the whole thing. So I got to do that and make a video for you guys. So it was a win-win. I really hope that you guys liked the video. And if you did, be sure to please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And be sure to check out the video coming up on Sunday. And I love you all so much. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye.